Hi everyone, welcome to Inside and Out Yoga and Meditation, where every day we help you reach your highest potential inside and out. I'm Emily and I'm your yoga instructor. Today we are continuing to push ourselves physically. I know you can do it. We are working on back bends. Don't worry if that scares you, if you have sensitive back, we have modifications for everything. So let's get going. All right, whenever you're ready, as always, join me in your favorite comfortable seat. You can have a block, a pillow, just sitting on your mat any way you choose. When you arrive, just let your hands fall on the thighs where they may and bring your eyes to a close or maybe just take a soft gaze. Beginning to connect with your practice via the breath. Being conscious of it, no need to force anything, any kind of special breath. Special is with quotes, doesn't need to be special. Just finding awareness of where you feel the breath, how fast or slow it naturally is. And taking that focus on the breath and using it to quiet the mind, anything that's telling you, like, well, this might be a hard practice. I don't really like back bends. Use the breath to kind of be wind and wash them away, you know? Because uh, those thoughts are what hold you back from those back bends, from going further. So maybe set a simple intention for yourself, even that if that intention is kindness or acceptance, not having these high expectations that you're going to do these crazy back bends or anything like that. We'll take a nice deep cleansing breath together to cleanse those negative thoughts away. Inhaling through the nose and exhale side out through the mouth. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes and join me in our starting tabletop position, really feeling all 10 of our fingers underneath our shoulders, knees beneath the hips, untucking the toes if that's comfortable for you. Nice long spine from the top of your head all the way down to your tail. On an inhale, drop the belly, maybe lift the chest, look up, and exhale, rounding forward. Dropping the neck, inhaling, dropping the belly, cow pose, and exhale, round through the spine. Push the earth away for that angry cat pose. You can go through this motion as fast or as slow as you'd like, keeping your base of your hands, your knees, and your feet the same. Maybe swing the hips to one side and the other or taking some circles in the torso, or even just sticking with your regular traditional cat-cow. Anything that feels good. Find a stillness, tuck the toes, and lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes to sky. Exhale, step it forward between the palms for a low lunge. Lower that left knee down, untuck the toes, and rise, crescent lunge, arms come to frame the ears. You can heel toe the right foot out a little bit if you need a wider base. Finding a tall spine once again, maybe even tucking the tail a little bit and arching the spine, maybe looking up, finding the slightest back bend. And exhale, let it go, bringing the hands back down. Coming back up to a low lunge, send that right foot back to plank pose, and lower through bent elbows all the way to the earth, untucking the toes. Letting the forearms come forward for Sphinx Pose. Elbows on either side of the chest, palms in front of you. Bring the hands back to frame the chest. Tuck the toes and lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Find the breath here, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, left leg comes to sky. Bend through the knee and step it forward, low lunge. Lower that right knee down, untuck the toes and rise, crescent lunge bringing that left hip crease back, rooting down through the left big toe. 
maybe puffing your chest out and feeling the arch in your spine taking a slight back bend maybe you lean a little forward into that left foot and exhale bring the hands back down raise the right knee step the left foot back plank pose bend through the elbows and lower all the way to the earth inhale sphinx pose elbows forearms hands find the floor maybe you look up hands come back to frame the chest tuck the toes lift the hips up and back downward facing dog inhale bend the knees lift the heels look forward and take a nice slow walk to the top of the mat and fold when you arrive maybe you widen the base of your feet a little bit take a bend in the knees maybe you have blocks under the hands here anything you need when you're ready slowly roll up to a standing position and when you arrive wing your arms out behind you taking a little tiny back bend maybe you clasp the hands if you have the space if not just keep the wings and exhale folding forward keeping your clasp or your wings let it go step the right foot back low lunge step the left foot to meet it downward facing dog inhale roll forward to that plank pose and lowering all the way to the earth inhale coming up to that sphinx pose nice tall neck tuck the toes lift the hips up and back downward facing dog inhale right leg comes to sky exhale step it forward between the palms inhale left foot steps up to meet the right halfway lift hands on shins and exhale fold forward slowly roll up arms sweep overhead inhale and on the exhale take the wings back behind you or clasp the hands behind the back make sure they're not resting on the top of your bottom inhale and keeping the clasp or the wings exhale fold forward with bent knees if your hands are clasped your fists might come over your head and on the exhale let it go bring the hands to the earth left foot steps back low lunge right foot steps to meet it plank pose lower all the way to the earth slide the forearms forward sphinx pose tuck the toes hands come back to frame the chest hips up and back downward facing dog inhale left leg rises exhale step it forward between the palms low lunge inhale right foot steps up to meet left halfway lift spine long and exhale folding forward letting it go inhale rise arms sweep overhead maybe you look up and on the exhale wing the arms back behind you again or take that clasp experiment maybe you did clasps last time and you want to try wings it doesn't always have to be the same whatever you choose fold forward and let it go step the right foot back low lunge left foot steps back downward facing dog roll forward to plank and lower half or all the way here inhale up dog or you can stick with sphinx and exhale up and back downward facing dog inhale right leg comes up exhale step it forward inhale left foot steps up to meet it halfway lift and exhale fold inhale rise all the way arms sweep overhead maybe you look up and on the exhale take your clasp take your wings your choice can be different every single time bend through the knees and exhale folding forward keeping your clasp or your wings let it go hands come to the earth left foot steps back low lunge plant the palms right foot steps back downward facing dog inhale roll to that plank pose nice long plank bend through the elbows lower halfway to chaturanga or all the way to the earth flip the feet up dog or sphinx and exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg rises exhale step it forward between the palms inhale right foot steps up to meet left halfway lift nice long spine and exhale folding forward inhale bend through the knees sweep the arms overhead and exhale hands come to heart center take your wings take your clasp behind your back your choice bend through the knees and fold forward you can keep the bend as you fold or you can straighten the legs hands come down to the earth right foot steps back low lunge left foot steps to meet it downward facing dog 
breathing here, finding a nice steady base in your dog, spreading your fingertips. Right leg rises on the inhale, exhale, step it forward between the palms. Spin that back heel down so your left toes are facing the upper left corner of your mat. Rise, warrior one, arms to frame the ears. Nice bend in that right knee, left leg nice and long draw and drawing the right hip crease back, left hip crease forward. Maybe even tucking the pelvis just slightly to feel the um, straightness of your spine. Opening out to the side, warrior two. You might need to widen your stance here. I always do. My uh, warrior one is much narrower than my warrior two. Arms to parallel. Flip the front palm, bring it up and back. Peaceful warrior. Cartwheel the hands down to frame that front foot. Come to a plank pose, lower half or all the way. Inhale, up dog or that sphinx pose. Tuck the toes and lift the hips. Downward facing dog. That is your vinyasa. That is your flow. You can choose to stick with that or skip it all together. Inhale, left leg rises. Step it forward between the palms. Spin that right heel down. Use the strength of your legs and your core to rise up. Warrior one. Lifting out of the hips, feeling like a string is pulling the top of your head taller, taller. Rooting through the outer edge of the right foot. Pivoting on both feet, really, and opening up wide, warrior two. Left knee is bent, right leg is nice straight behind you, rooting down through the outer edge of that foot. Front palm flips up and back, peaceful warrior, cartwheeling the hands down to frame that left foot. Step back, plank pose, and move through the flow of your choice, or skip it, maybe take a child's pose, or go right to downward facing dog where I'll meet you. Inhale, right leg comes to sky. Exhale, step it forward between the palms, low lunge. Spinning that back heel down, we rise, warrior one. Finding our strength, our power, keeping the hip points facing the front of your mat. Opening up to the side, warrior two. Arms to parallel, shoulders down the back. Flip that front palm, inhale up and back, peaceful warrior. Back palm comes down the leg. Cartwheel the hands down to frame that front foot. We're in a low lunge here. Finding your breath, lower that left knee, <clears throat> untuck the toes and kind of swing the calf out to the left side of your mat and bring the right leg to the back of your mat long for supported side plank. Right arm can come over the right ear for a long line from fingertips all the way to your right heel. And however many steps it takes you to get there, coming back to that low lunge. Letting the left leg go long and opening up extended side angle, resting the right forearm on the right thigh, left arm over the ear. Letting it go, bringing the right palm up and back, peaceful warrior and moving through your flow, whatever it looks like for you, it'll look different for everyone. I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes to sky. Exhale, step it forward between the palms, spin the back heel down. We rise, warrior one, inhaling deeply here. Exhaling, maybe sitting a little deeper into the pose. Opening up, warrior two. Taking as many pivots as you need. Inhale, flip that left palm up and back, peaceful warrior, cartwheel the hand down to frame the front foot. We pause in our low lunge letting the right knee come down, spinning the right calf and foot to the right side of your mat, left leg comes long to the back, left arm comes up over the ear, extended or supported side plank, really rooting into that right palm, looking down, hand comes back to the earth, step that left foot back up, root down through the right foot, your legs will look like warrior two as your torso rises for extended side angle pose. Really drawing that right shoulder down the back to open up the chest. Flip the left palm up and back, peaceful warrior. Cartwheel the hands down and let it go through your flow. I'll meet you in downward facing dog.
Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step it forward between the palms. We rise, warrior one. Trust yourself, you know where we're going. Part of going further is finding that trust. Clasp the hands behind your back this time, finding that openness in the chest, or keep your wings if that feels better for you. Let the clasp go. Open the arms up, warrior two. Flip that right palm up and back, peaceful warrior. Cartwheel the hand down. Pause in your low lunge, bringing that left knee down, coming into the supported side plank. We found before, right leg long, rooting down through the right outer edge of the foot, or maybe lift the right leg, bend the knee, and catch the foot behind you with the hand. Right foot, right hand meet. Maybe you fall, seeing how that feels. Letting the foot go back out long, arm comes long. Step that right foot forward again. Left foot roots down and we rise up, extended side angle pose. Maybe your forearm is still on your thigh or maybe your hand finds the earth. You could take a half bind here. If you did our video last week, you should be well versed in binding. Left arm comes up and back, peaceful warrior. Car wheel the hands down to frame that front foot and let it go through your flow. I'll meet you in Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, left leg comes to sky, step it forward between the palms, low lunge. Spinning that back heel down, rising, warrior one. Checking in with your hips, clasping the hands behind the back, opening up the chest, shoulders away from the ears, letting the clasp go left arm or right arm guides you up and open to warrior two drawing that left hip crease back flip the left palm bring it up and back peaceful warrior cartwheel the hands down to pause in your low lunge right knee comes down right foot comes to the right edge of the mat left foot comes to the back supported side plank lifting that left foot going to almost kick your butt and then catch your left leg with your left hand. And again, maybe you fall or maybe you just keep the leg extended off the ground. Bringing that left foot back to the top of your mat, lift the right knee, spin the right heel down, extended side angle pose. Take whatever variation you did on the other side, whether your hand was on the floor or maybe a block if you took a half bind, Whatever your variation is, see that your chest is nice and open. Flip the left palm, bring it up and back, peaceful warrior, and cartwheel the hands down and letting it go through your flow. I'll meet you in downward facing dog and we'll switch it up a little bit. Inhale, right leg comes to sky. Exhale, step it forward between the palms, low lunge. Left heel stays off the ground rise high lunge it's very similar to warrior one except our back heel is not on the earth hip points still facing forward twist open to the right we have warrior two arms here but almost warrior one legs doing a little combo bringing the arms back to frame the ears face in the front of your mat clasp or wing the hands behind your back your choice again you can experiment here with what feels good keep the clasp step the left foot forward and fold maybe you have a bend in your knees here letting the clasp go and slowly roll up to stand finding a breath root down through the right big toe the right heel left knee comes in for a hug catching the knee with both hands right hand comes to the hip left peace fingers grab for the left big toe and maybe you extend the left leg forward maybe you stay with the knee in and that's totally fine we're seeing how our balance has fared through all of these um, heart openers and back bends if you chose to extend the leg bring it back in and go, just as we did in our supported side plank, go to kick your butt and grab your foot with your left palm. 
Maybe you start to tip forward with the right arm coming forward for a dancer's pose. Breathing here as we open the chest. Let the foot go and come down gently to a low lunge. Letting the right arm open up to the sky, rooting through the left palm for a twist. Maybe finding a little bit of a back bend here too. Right palm comes down to the earth. Right foot steps back and you can move through your vinyasa or maybe take a child's pose after all that work. I'll meet you as always in downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes to sky and exhale, step it forward. Keep that back heel lifted as you rise for high lunge, drawing that left hip crease back, tucking the pelvis just, just a little bit to find a long spine, twist open to the left, arms open in a T, hips, feet, legs do not move. It's Even though we're on two legs, it is a bit of a balance challenge. Left arm sweeps up and arms, both arms come to frame the ears. Hands come behind the back in a clasp or a wing. Again, your choice. You can start out with clasp and end with a wing or vice versa. Step both feet together at the top of your mat and fold with either your clasp or your wings. Letting your clasp or your wings go, slowly roll up to stand through bent knees. Finding your base, rooting your big toes into the earth, letting the weight come into your left leg as you bring your right knee in for a hug with your right hand. Reach down for the right big toes. Left hand can be on the hips. Maybe you extend that right leg. Maybe you keep it bent. Your choice. Again, experiment here. Maybe you lift the left hand off the hip to frame the left ear. Take a bend in the left knee. Don't lock it out, but lift out of that left hip. It can be kind of tricky. Rebend that right leg. Try not to set it on the, on the floor if you need to, that's okay. Bring it back behind you to kick your butt. Grab onto the foot with the right hand and tip forward. Left arm comes in front of you, dancer's pose. Kicking your leg is what tips you forward. Feeling the openness of your chest here. Finding your breath. Letting the foot go and coming back down gently and safely to low lunge. Right palm plants next to the left foot. We open the left palm to the earth. Low lunge twist. Maybe you look up at your fingertips. Bringing the left palm down. Bringing the knees down and we all will sit the hips to the heels in a nice deserved child's pose. Breathing into the back body. And rolling up to sit on your shins. Maybe you have a block if you need a little bit of an extra support or maybe even a pillow. Come up onto your knees. You can tuck the toes if it's comfortable for you. It actually is harder to not have the toes tucked. Arms come to frame the ears. Reach back to touch your right heel with your right palm. Come forward, bow forward really, and reach back with your left hand to reach your left heel. <laughs> Repeat on the right side, kind of finding this sweeping motion coming forward and reaching back. Opposite hand comes to frame the ear reaching back and sweeping forward hips to heels dancing camel keeping the shoulders away from the ears here keeping the chest nice and open you can take that as slow or as fast as you need as many times as you like i'll meet you in a child's pose really giving the back a little bit of counterbalance here, right? Instead of opening it, we're rounding it in that child's pose. And when you're ready, I'll meet you on our backs with the feet planted. Reach down so you can tickle your heels with your fingertips, knees facing the sky. Really plant the palms on either side of your hips and 
on an exhale, lift your hips off the ground for a bridge pose. Try not to move your neck here, just keep it neutral. If you'd like to try clasping your hands underneath your lifted hips, you can try that. It can be pretty intense, so you can leave your hands just on either side of your feet if you'd like. Slowly roll down so the hips come back to meet the earth. Feet come as wide as the mat and your knees knock together for a little bit of love for your lower back. Starting to be more conscious of the breath here. Even as we continue these movements, you can feel free to take another bridge here or you can experiment with a full wheel. Your feet will stay or start in the same position as a bridge. The only difference is your hands will now come to frame your ears and you'll push up off your hands and your feet to come into a full wheel. Bringing your heart through your hands, pressing through all 10 toes, making sure your knees aren't coming out too wide. Breathing here, staying for as long as you like, and slowly, gently, and safely lowering back down. Again, feet come as wide as your mat, knees knock in together. Taking a nice, deep belly breath. We'll take one last wheel or bridge, your choice. If you'd like to take a restorative bridge, all you do is lift your hips and put your a block or a pillow under your hips. Lower down if you've chose to rise and come to meet me in a seat with your legs nice and long. Bring your right leg in for a hug. Let the knee go out to the side, plugging the, the right foot into the left thigh. Take a twist over your right leg and then come down through the inside of your left leg. Right arm sweeps over the ear. Again, opening up the chest here, not necessarily looking for a hamstring stretch. Continuing to open our chest and even finding a little bit of a back bend by drawing that right shoulder down the back. You can be on the forearm or on the hand. Left toes facing the sky. Gently rolling back up to your seat and letting the right leg go long as you bring the left knee in for a hug. Letting the knee knock out to the side, plugging that left foot into the right leg twisting over to the left and coming on the inside of the right leg, sweeping that left arm over the ear. Looking underneath your left armpit, maybe you even have the eyes closed here. Starting to bring the practice more internal instead of externally and physically. Coming back up to a seat, bringing the left knee in, letting the leg go out long. Coming down onto our backs, letting the legs go where they may, letting the arms go where they may. We land in Shavasana. I'll give you this time again to bring the practice more internally rather than externally, but trust I'm still here and we will close our practice together.
Start to take some gentle movements, maybe knocking the head gently from side to side, stepping one foot in then the other, rolling onto one side and using the opposite arm to lift you into the seat. Maybe keeping your eyes closed, staying with yourself. We explore back bends to find the most extreme heart openers, right? That's really what a back bend is, a heart opener. But they're a challenge. But to get to all the good stuff our heart has to offer, we have to go through those challenges. Thank you for sharing your heart with me as I always share mine with you. Namaste.